Hi there, Sagittarius. How are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome to your weekly reading back with me again, Anissa from The Inner Stereo. For those of you who are new to my channel, hello. And for those of you who have been a long time, welcome, welcome back. So who is this reading going to be about? By the way, this is a general reading, so the rules might get reversed or it doesn't resonate. Don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. And if you want to have a personal reading, there's going to be a link on a description box. Please ignore any comment whatsoever. It's not me, right? Because I noticed that there has been like a lot of scammers lately who has been trying to you know comment on people's comments and it's just just stop me right so who are we going to be talking about who is this reading going to be about let's see take a deep breath in for me Sagittarius I feel that the person that you're dealing with seven of wands they kind of like want to rebuild wow that's a lot they kind of like want to rebuild things with you here there is a change of dynamic that they're expecting to happen between the two of you because they feel that how the relationship was going in the past was not really giving them the satisfactory, the satisfaction that they wanted. Um, in the beginning, it was, yeah, it was, it, it was okay. It was good, but they're not happy with that. You have somebody who is a bit emotionally high maintenance, I should say so myself, and especially with the page of cups in reverse in here. Um, this person has like a little bit of an inability to articulate or express what is it that they're desiring, what is it that they're wanting. So it's weird because they want to rebuild things. They want to rebuild things from the ground up, and they don't care if they need to start from zero because they feel that what was happening in the past, no matter how good it was, it didn't give them the satisfaction that they needed. There was, they feel that there's like a lot of power struggle or ego battle going on in here between you and them as well that kind of like made them emotionally um, unhappy. But the problem is they have the inability to articulate what they want and how they feel and what their desires are. So, and they're pretty emotionally high maintenance, I should say so. Do I have the challenges? That means two cards of challenges. What are the challenges of this relationship? The magician, so... You might be dealing with a Gemini, with a Virgo, or you might be dealing with a water sign that's going to be Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. But what are the challenges of this relationship is, is that I think both of you are entering this relationship with an emotional armor, okay? Regardless, so there is this, so sometimes you have a tendency to be very, very optimistic on the outlook of this relationship. You guys are like, you know what? Like, I think that we do have like all of the elements that it's needed to build a relationship that is sustainable, that is happy, that brings us fulfillment and everything like that. But also on the other hand, a part of you is also kind of like pessimistic. Like you, both of you are, are entering things with like an emotional armor. So you tr want to give your 100% and this person also wants to give their 100%. But it's like, there's this awkwardness going on there because there's this emotional armor. Besides, this person is pretty possessive of you, Sagittarius, okay? So mentions of like a third party situations or like an ex or whatever that is could trigger their jealousy very, very much. But the funny thing is that uh, I don't think they're going to be saying it in like a look, that person makes me uncomfortable. But it's like either they throw some fit or um, they play some games instead. <laughs> so let's see what happens in the past from their side. So what happens in the past from their side, page, the two of wands, and also the emperor. So this person, here's the thing, yeah? This person really, really likes talking to you. Because the thing is that you guys are like a sweet escape from their mundane life. This is how they are, okay? The two of wands in this particular deck of mine, is some, this person is shackled, all right? This person is being tied in a rope. They feel that in their life, they're in a situations where they can't get out of. And like talking to you in the past brings like a new, fresh perspective. Your attention, your supply, your loving towards them made them feel beautiful, made them feel like, you know, the, the bomb. They um, glow up, uh, they, they, you made them glow. But the thing is about Empress, Empress isn't like, the most aggressive or even like an active card because Empress is like um, the goddess and the apostle um, Netflix movie. If you give them something, then they're going to be multiplying it by, you know, 
10 times full or two times full. So for instance, if you give this person like your lovey-dovey or if you give this person attention, then this person is then going to give it back to you. There's a little bit of a, a essence of like playing hard to get here too from their side. So they're playing hard to get, but they want you because they feel that you guys are like a fresh new perspective into their life. They just like to either talk to you or they like the sound of your voice. Like this is so weird because this person is talking to a bird, right? It seems that, that this person is just kind of like fascinated by the sound of the, the bird itself. It's like a new... There is a sense of newness when they were interacting with you in the past. So how it was from Sagittarius' side. Six of Pentacles and also the Five of Pentacles in reverse. All right. So I was right, right? You were the Six of Pentacles and how they react to it was the Two of Wands. So when you give them that attention, there's like, wow, like I feel blooming, I feel beautiful, I feel all of that. You have to admit that this person has some healing powers towards you. Before you meet this person, it feels as if like you were like the five of pentacles. So you either were disappointed by your ex or disappointed by your life or disappointed by people around you. But this person interacting with this person, being generous with this person for some reason, gets you out of that period of disappointment. So there is that healing power from their side as well. Because what you didn't tell them is that this person did have that resurrection powers on you. Regardless how feeble that is, but like, there is that. So let's see what's going on in the now. How is it in the now from this person? You make me glow. That's, okay, it's working. Because I actually did your reading and then... <laughs> The audio wasn't working, so I have to redo it again. What is going on in the now from this person? This person is pretty secretive and also it's very hard to get a word out of them. Eight of Cups, Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Seven of Cups in reverse. What is what they're not telling? Seven of Swords. Interesting. What actions can we be expecting from this person in the now? Present moment, please. Death card and also the Queen of Pentacles. How about Sagittarius? Queen of Swords, so you stand your ground. Five of Swords, which you guys are not telling. You were hurt by this person. What action can we be expecting from Sagittarius? Queen of Cups, uh, sorry, King of Cups, and also the Strength Guard. Ace of Pentacles. So there's a potential of making things happen within this relationship, but it will require like a lot and a lot. So, I think you stood your ground in the past. You guys were like, you know what, we're going to have it my way or not at all because you feel that you're not really being fulfilled in this relationship. Something just kind of like rubbed you the wrong way. And you're ready to cut this person off of your life because you had the Five of Swords in here because it has been quite hurtful, right? It has been quite hurtful for you. And this person in the beginning, they were a bit stubborn, but then realizing that your energy was the queen of swords like a queen who they can never ever mess with they have to face those swords they return the eight of cups in this particular deck of mine is different than a traditional right away tarot because instead of walking away it's actually walking back towards those cups i think there is like a new information or so like a new clarity that they have had from you and i don't think it's it's either you tell it to them in a straight and very forward and direct manner or they might just kind of like have that conclusion on themselves because one of the reasons why they was kind of like quite passive and playing hard to get in the past was because there was so much unanswered questions inside of their head and now they're finally having those full conclusion they're regretting it they're emotionally returning, but it seems as if like in the now, circumstances in their life is really not helping things to move forward between the two of you. So they want to come back, but there's something here that is, it's the wrong timing. It's either work gets in the way, family gets in the way. 
a new relationship gets in the way. I don't know, anything, but something is getting in the way in here. And this is general reading, so... It could be anything. But you're like, if you want me, come here. You're emotionally available for this person, though. You're emotionally available. This is the, the act that you're going to be showing to them. You're going to be exercising like a lot and a lot of your patience. You're going to be standing where you stood. If you want me, you come here. This person, you know what? Let's just clarify that one. All right. <laughs> this person is trying to take their time because they try as much as they can to not be very impulsive about this. They're overthinking this. They're really, really overthinking this. So instead of doing anything action towards you, they're just observing the surrounding, observing the situations. Um, different than you know what what did they want from you in the past because i think there is okay what did they want from you in the past king of cups king of swords so in the past they were yeah they have emotions for you they have love for you but also at the same time they were like the king of swords so you have to meet a certain type of requirement or a certain type of standard this person kind of like judge you or either we're looking at you in a very very condescending matter you might be dealing with a fearful avoidant though so it's like come here go away come here go away because they're so afraid of getting hurt i feel that this person kind of like judge you or think of you badly in the past and that's kind of like one of the reasons why this relationship didn't really um grow but then it's like now all of those questions all of those doubts all of the illusions that once surrounds them finally disappears because they either get a new information or they finally conclude things on yourself they now want a full-on relationship a commitment from you they want to build a family or they want like a beautiful union with you but they're not really showing it in a now because they're working it behind the scene. They just want to study you more. They want to, you know, I actually kind of like implement this in my life. Like if I want that in the next 72 hours, it means that I really want it. So this person is just like, you know, if I still want Sagittarius in the next, you know, time, <laughs> like maybe one week or like, you know, 72 hours, then I'm going to do something about it. But for the meantime, I'm going to wait and I'm going to study them. So this person is heavily observing you. I don't think you know that because you're, what you're not telling is you have the ten of swords. So you're hurt because you feel that this person just doesn't care about you. But things are working behind the scene here. They're working behind the scene. So weird. Okay, so let's see. Uh, what's going on in the future? From their side first, please. Page of Wands in reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Page of Swords, what they're not telling. Four of Cups in reverse. See, they're... What actions can we be expecting from them in the future? Five of Wands. <laughs> Three of Wands in reverse. All right, so um, in the future, how is it from Sagittarius? Eight of Pentacles. Three of Cups. You mean well. Wow. Well, you guys are not telling. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. What actions can we be expecting from Sagittarius? Four of Swords, and also the Knight of Wands. At the bottom of your deck, you have a Six of Wands, and also the Chariot. That's really interesting. So, in the future, 
told you, right, in the beginning, this person has like a little bit of a difficulties when it comes to articulating or expressing their emotions. And because this person is so into you, it kind of like triggers their emotions and their, sorry, it triggers their fears and insecurities that kind of like drive their emotions to always be on an extreme end of everything. So it's like, what point in time? Yeah, I want Sagittarius. I see the good qualities in Sagittarius. I want to settle with Sagittarius. I want, I want, I want happiness with Sagittarius. But then, just one thing triggers everything. It's just like, no, I hate Sagittarius. No, I'm not doing it. So they're always on that extreme end of loving and hating, loving and hating, loving and hating. And you have had it, because <clears throat> what do they want from you? Like this is so confusing. Because they want to rebuild things, but like the, why aren't you doing anything? So, what did they want from Sagittarius? This is like the nosiest general readings I've ever done. <laughs> what did they want from Sagittarius? Tower. Temperance. They want to shake your world because they feel that you guys are so aloof you guys are so non-challenged you guys are indifferent i don't know there is a little bit of an insecurities coming from their side do you love them as much as they love you so they're pretty insecure so they want to shake up your world here sagittarius but the way that they're doing it might be a bit ineffective though Yeah, the way that they're doing it is a bit ineffective. It's like they're trying to get a reaction out of you. Because they're not sure. So instead of asking, like, how do you feel about me? Where do you see us going? And everything like that. They don't want to do it. So instead of doing that, they want to test you. They want to, because you see how this temperance and this high priestess is very, very not challenged and indifferent, right? It seems to be very, very balanced. I'm, I'm a Sagittarius myself, by the way. And it's funny when people say that you're cold, you don't care, you're not hurt. I mean, we don't share our hurt in social media, all right? We cry in silence. <laughs> and we mask everything with lull and jokes. So this person just wants to get a reaction out of you because they feel that you guys are just so cool. I'm, I'm not saying cool as if like you guys are the cool kid or anything. You just are so cool. Like you're so indifferent. Like what's your emotions towards me? Do I matter? Like something like that. So they're going to be doing something. And it might differ for each and every one of you because this is obviously a general reading so it's not a one size fit all but the theme would probably be the same so they're going to start a fight or trying to make you jealous or trying to provoke you indirectly anything just to get a reaction out of you it's not going to be a direct communication, Sagittarius. All right, you got the three wants in reverse in here. It's not going to be a direct conversation or communication from this person, but know that whatever it is that's going to provoke you in the future, it's coming from them because they're doing it on purpose. Whatever it is, they're doing it on purpose. They want to shake your world up just so that um, you guys aren't as... Like you show something. <laughs> like say something, I'm giving up on you. They're actually not giving up, but they're just wondering because they want to come back. Circumstances are not really helping them. But they don't know where they stand in your life. And instead of asking, they want to test you and stalk you and observe you. What they're not telling is this, four of cups in reverse. They are being emotionally available 
but what they're doing is contradictory and you're like the nine of pentacles in reverse so yeah you have feelings for them whatever it is that they did in the past present and future it did kind of like had a slight dominant effect into your life where this person was distracting you from your work or from your family or from your day-to-day -day life or whatever yes it did affect you but you didn't show it because again that's Sagittarius you know we don't we don't show our emotions have you ever wondered why we don't show our emotions that much because I always wonder like why do people just don't think I have feelings so in the future, whenever they're trying to provoke you and they're trying to test you, how are you going to react on it? Four of Swords. Still indifferent. Still acting like you're living your life to the fullest. You're probably are going to be detaching yourself away from the situations because you're like, you know what? Like, I just don't really like this at all. So I'm just going to be living my best life. You have the nut of wands. Like for some reason, the test that they're going to be putting on you kind of like made you more driven to enjoy your life, to be more of a Sagittarius, to do multiple things at once. Like it just kind of like gave you that good push. It's not a bad push. It's a good push. All right. So let's see what are the advice for you guys. I don't even know what to title this. So, can we have advice for Sagittarius, please? The Lovers. Ten of Wands and also the Strength card. You have Star. So, this week is actually a really, really good month for you guys to start planning ahead on your wish fulfillment. And I'm not saying about relationship, but just like if it's public recognition that you're looking for if it's anything other than relationship just career related on or like social related and everything like that you guys are going to get it with like a very very good solid solid plan communication is very important so whenever it is that they're because because again the tests and the games that they're going to be playing in the future it's going to differ for each and every one of you, right? This is a general reading again. But there are some of you who is actually going to be very, very clear that it was coming from them. What can you do about it? Communicate. That's the lover's card here. Is a card of Mercury. So you might be dealing, I forgot to do this. You might be dealing with a water sign. You might be dealing with the Gemini or Virgo. You might be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. You might be dealing with an air sign here or a fire sign. No matter how heavy it may look, communicate. Just call them out. Like, let's say, for instance, you have somebody who's trying to provoke a jealousy out of you. Call them out. Like, who is that person? And just be patient about it. And communicate with them that these things is not okay with you because it's very, very heavy and burdening for you. You've been patient for quite a while, but enough is enough. It's too much. You don't like that. You're only willing to do a, a certain amount of work if both of you are standing on an equal ground. Meaning there's an equal give and take in here and there's also equal sacrifices. If you have to sacrifice something, it means that they also have to sacrifice something too. This really needs to end. It's quite toxic. I'm not saying that this person is a toxic person, but just like, I hate these type of tests. So yeah. I mean, they want to rebuild things, but the way that they're doing it is not in line with what they want. So it's not really productive. All right. So anyway, I think that is it for my reading for you guys. I'll, I hope to see you next week for another weekly reading and have a great day. Bye-bye. I love you.